For the Yazidi, this is the start of year 6,762. They've come from mountain villages, from towns and cities in Iraq, Syria, and Turkey, and from Europe to celebrate the new year. Yazidis believe in the same God as Muslims, Christians, and Jews, but they believe they were the first people God created. Along with Babylonian rituals and elements of other religions, they worship the sun. We light this rope to bring good, and anyone who lights a flame here, goodness will come to him. It's a closed religion and misunderstood. 20 years ago, there were no satellite channels and no mixing with other people. That's why people can have some suspicions about others. Since the Yazidis were just a small religious minority, that's why they face misunderstandings. Now things are more clear. Images like this are part of the reason other Iraqis are suspicious of the Yazidi. A snake is believed to have saved the prophet Noah. Inside this cave is a sacred spring. Nearby is the tomb of Sheikh Adi, a 12th century Sufi saint who reformed the Yazidi religion. As dusk approaches, they light the flames that are a central part of their faith. This isn't just the new year. They believe it marks the creation of the world, including the four elements. And for Yazidis, the most important of those is fire. On New Year's Day, the Yazidi faithful, along with Kurdish, Muslim, and Christian leaders, pay respects to the prince of the Yazidis. Like the Kurds, the Yazidi were pressured to declare themselves Arab under Saddam Hussein. 150 of their villages were taken. In the last 30 years, up to half the Yazidi community has left for Europe, where there are fears the religion won't survive. The older people won't leave their religion. But we fear for the new generation, when the sons and daughters go to European schools, our traditions and customs will become different. By most estimates, there are fewer than a million Yazidi in the world. It's a small religion struggling to survive in a modern world while keeping ancient traditions alive. Jane Araf, Al Jazeera, Lalesh, Northern Iraq.